for like lifestyle people or budgeting people or like planner people which I love all those channels highly addicted to them but I'm doing an art based one because for me I have a lot of goals that I think about but don't ever really like take the initiative to really like get going on them but as like months go on I kind of reminisce of like oh yeah I really did want to try and do like Inktober this year I did want to have Christmas merch this year shoot like I'm way too late now so I'm gonna try and start this as like a monthly series where I kind of like reorganize my thoughts reset everything figure out where I am what is coming up and then also reflect on the past month and see like Hey, did I actually do any of this stuff? Also, I'm so much more accountable if I tell some someone about things. Um, a lot of times I don't tell people about projects that are coming up because I don't want to like set a standard or something. But for this, I think it'll be great. So I thought this would be a fun thing to share with everyone. Um, so yeah, this is going to be my like artist monthly reset for September. Um, so the first thing I thought I would start off with are kind of my art goals for the month. Um, and these are kind of more general personal art goals, not stuff for like my little art business. Um, so the first thing is I want to start free sketching. Um, I really go into drawing a lot of the time with like a piece in mind, which is great, but I think it gets me stuck a lot of the time. And I really need to start going through and just spending like a warm up even of just drawing freely and seeing what comes to mind um, and I think that'll just kind of help push me to do new things try new things and you know see what else I can come up with I don't want to get stuck in anything um, the next thing it kind of relates but I want to push my composition a lot of the time I'm using photo references for like musicians or artists or something and it can get me, um, again, a little stuck in my ways of not having the most dynamic poses. Um, and that's something that I want to like really focus on is try and push my composition, push my poses to really make like more interesting pieces. And then finally, um, I want to do a draw this in your style challenge. It's something I see all the time on Instagram and I just think it's so fun and it's a great way to push yourself to try new things. So yeah, I'm going to look for an artist that I want to do and maybe like a character that I'm drawn to and yeah, do one of those. So those are my goals for that are just like personal ones. Um, and then next up is my little design business. So I do freelance graphic design. I've got some merch as well. I got an Etsy too. I got a Patreon, you know, all that sort of thing. And that's all under the name of Make Don't Break Design Co. Um, so that's kind of what I named this section is my design business stuff. So the first little chunk I have here are social media goals. It's something that 
you know, I have social media, but I've never really like set goals of how often I want to be on there. But I think if I did, it would really help a lot because it'd be like a nice reference of just like, oh yeah, I do need to like tell people what I'm doing this week. The next one is Lofty. Don't know if I'll make it, but one video a week. Um, I don't know, maybe I can do it. If I start making shorter videos, they don't need to be 20 minutes. Um, but I think that'd be a good way to like push myself, maybe like grow my audience here a little bit. Um, but the next thing I want to do is highlight my Patreon. I do monthly sticker club and I think it'd be really great to get some more people interested and into it, uh, you know, like understanding what's going on over there. I don't really talk about it enough, so I think that'd be really good. So the next thing I really need to focus on is fixing my website. It is atrocious how out of date it is. Um, last time I went on there, I just kind of cringed. So this month, I'm really tackling it. I'm going to go on there. I'm going to make a list of everything I need to change. And we're going to have a fresh start. Um, so it actually represents me. I'm like embarrassed to think that people are looking at that right now. So that's like, oof, real big pain point. I have to do that this month. Um, so next on my make down break list is pricing. I need to figure out basic pricing. I am terrible at this. I always underprice my work. I always just like don't think about how many hours things are. I'm not realistic with how many hours things will actually take. Um, I really want to group my services so I can offer packages. Um, I'm not going to undercharge for those packages and I'm going to write that down so I actually do it. Um, and yeah, that's something that I really need to like research and get on top of. Related to pricing, um, something that I've been doing and being a good little design girly about is updating my invoice website, which I use Wave for. Um, so every month I need to go through there, update all everything that I spent money on products and stickers and like for Adobe or whatever, and then put all the money that I made doing freelance or products or whatever. So I need to update that and look at all the numbers. <coughs> So next is kind of an exciting section. It's the upcoming events. So this is like fun things to look forward to, but also like art stuff that I need to get ready for, um, that I need to start thinking about, planning, um, just kind of get on the radar so I'm not stressed when it just like feels like it comes out of nowhere. Um, I'm so excited. I got surprised with uh, on my birthday with a plane ticket to um, New Mexico at the end of the month so I can go visit my sister-in-law and go to the Hot Air Balloon Festival, which is going to be so amazing. I'm so excited. We were going to try and do this last year, but it didn't work out. So the fact that I get to go down there is so exciting. Um, that's at the end of the month, so I can't wait. And then I need to start working on holiday stuff. Stuff. Um, if I'm gonna order things, I need to figure out that plan yesterday and get things in motion because everything takes forever right now. I want to figure out any products I want to have, how I'm even going to show those products, where will they be available, um, and also are there any like holiday festivals that I want to be a part of. Um, I think in my hometown they have a little one called like the Holiday Bazaar that's like really cheap to have a table out so if I can get things together that could be a really great opportunity as well. So just trying to get ahead of this stuff and Oh, wait, there's one other thing. I also put this over on the make, don't break. I want to look for zines that I can submit stuff to. So I'm going to look for three different zines that are looking for submissions. Um, I did this a lot when I was still in quarantine last year, like when I was still on unemployment and stuff, and it was so fun. If you go on Instagram, I've said this before, look in the tag, uh, call for submissions, or like zine call for submissions. People are like always looking for stuff. So I'm going to try and reach out, look for three different ones this month, might not get accepted, like, you know, might not even hear back. So that's what you're going to do with three of them. Um, so yeah, those are my goals for this month. I'm pretty excited. It's not, I was about to say it's not daunting, but the video a week like stresses me out. So we'll see if anything is too much. That's cool. This is just like guessing where the baseline should be and as the months go on we'll figure out what's more realistic because I just gotta figure out what even 
is realistic at this point. I just kind of like over assume for myself and over plan. So I think this will be a great start. So tune back next month and we'll go back through this list and kind of reflect and see what we did and then work on October goals. So yeah, I'm going to go decorate my planner now. I ended up like hating the sticker that I used, so I'm gonna collage on it, I think. I found this butterfly and it's so cute, so yeah. We were tender headed and bold. Now we're wild and bold. I'm not you are what I we want to see. on feels good to like kind of take a minute and like reset and actually figure out what I should be prioritizing um I know I missed a couple things but this is a test run month so we'll see how it all goes and anything that's a little too extreme you can go back edit but I think it's good to just like set a standard at some point and then like log where I am because otherwise I'm gonna have no idea what is like capable so the last section of this video, I wanted to go over some books that I read this month that I really liked, and then um, a podcast that I've been listening to a lot that I wanted to recommend as well. Okay, so for the last part of this video, I wanted to go over books that I read this month that um, I really enjoyed, and then also a podcast that I've been super obsessed with um, that I wanted to suggest as well. So I wrote them down, let me pull them out. I have a pretty long drive to and from work, so I've been listening to a lot of audiobooks lately, and it's like so nice. I haven't been, I haven't had time really to read books in a long while, so I mean, I could make time, but it just is a lot easier for me to fit audiobooks into my schedule, and it's made it so I've been like going through them like crazy. So the first one I want to suggest, I'm about to finish, um, it's called The Queens of Animation by Natalia Holt, and it's a story about the first female animators at the Disney company, and it is so great. I love hearing about all of their struggles and like working their way up from like in between animators to like main animators and getting to work on like rides for the World's Fair and stuff and then hearing about like all the different movies and the ways that they like worked on them and the new technology that was being introduced and the new animation companies that spawned from it. Highly recommend. It's super inspirational as well. Um, lots of hardships for these women but that's pretty much any like historical women artist book you will read is gonna have those so it's okay but it's part of it but I highly recommend it it's wonderful anyone who's like into art or animation or even if you're like a Disney fan um, or like a Disney adult let's say read this book I think it's you'll, you'll love it 
Um, the next one I read was Educated by Tara Westover. Um, I've seen a few different people reading this online, but I loved it a lot. It's the story of someone, a young girl who her family is like highly religious and did not really believe in schooling or like they didn't believe in a lot of like American history, let's say is a good way to describe it. So she never was allowed to go to school. And then when she was 17, she ended up going to college and it's the story of like her experiencing education for the first time and how it kind of changes her life. And it is so great, um, really addicting story. Um, and you'll get sucked in. I could not stop listening to it. And it is so, um, like humanizing and showing how the other side can think but also in a way of someone who's like learning to have their own voice um and kind of stand up for themselves and there's there's a lot of like abuse in the story but her overcoming it is just really powerful and it's a really great book um and then the last one i read was really cool it's called the equivalence um a story of art female friendship and liberation in the 1960s and it's pretty much the story of all these women artists who received this grant that happened. Harvard Sister Sister Rad... <laughs> Harvard Sister College. Sister Sister Harvard Sister College at uh, Radcliffe at the time <clears throat> decided to like have this grant. Or it was kind of like a new like independent study program for women where it like gave them a stipend so they could, you know, afford like nannies or food or stop working for a little bit so they could focus on their art and um they had to like submit uh like uh, proposals of what they would do and it's the story of all these different women who got this opportunity and how it like transformed their life and how it transformed the college um similar to the queens of animation this one is gonna like break your heart a thousand times because so many talented women just dealing with society in the 1960s and marital pressures societal pressures like so much shit where you're just like wow like so many talented people cut short um but it's really inspiring and i found it so educational i didn't know like many of these artists there were a few here and there that like i remembered reading about in college but it definitely was like very eye-opening really recommend it and then uh the podcast i want to recommend a lot of people probably know them because they're here on YouTube and like TikTok and everything, but it's the Violating Community Guidelines podcast by Brittany and Sarah. Um, each episode is kind of like a different piece of like internet history, let's say. Um, so we've got like AI influencers. Uh, that was probably like one of my favorite episodes. The episodes about furries is amazing. Um, they're hilarious. You get a little bit of like, you know, their banter or whatever, but also just like their perspective on all these like internet topics, I think is really fun. Um, I know they're doing live shows, but they're not coming to Seattle. So that sucks. If they do at a Seattle show, I would try to be there because it is an awesome podcast. Um, so yeah, I've been addicted to that, listening to that nonstop. And yeah, so those were kind of my like September or <laughs> those were what I was reading in August. And then um, I have a bunch of books on hold. So we'll see what comes through for my September reads. So yeah, I guess that's pretty much my September reset. Um, I might change up every month, like what goes into these videos, but I think this is a good start. And if you have any ideas, let me know for sure. Um, next month we'll definitely be trying to do october or inktober so that'll be exciting and things will really be ramping up for the holidays so yeah lots coming up and i think this is a great way to kind of like gather my thoughts and figure out what i want to focus on because that's what gets me motivated is thinking about the next project to do even when i'm like in one i like to kind of go from one project right to the other just to keep the, the momentum going if you're always in movement you're like Kind of more open to ideas i guess so yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one goodbye 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 hello hello goodbye that one like Tuxi and katia voicemail hello Hello? Hello, hi. <laughs> Hello? Good evening. <laughs> hi. <laughs>
I wanted to test out a pickup line on you. Hello? Are you an ace bandage? Because I just sprained my ass. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> that's you! <laughs> yes, that's you! That's you! <laughs> what is that from? 2012? Hello? <laughs> 